Days of protests, even another tonight, all focused on a questionable raid at a gay club in Fort Worth. But throughout it all, the man that was hurt the worst, the one at the center of the controversy, has remained silent until now. He spoke out with News 8's Darla Miles, and she's joining us live tonight. Darla. Shelly, Chad J Gibson just got out of the hospital yesterday. He wants the officers involved prosecuted and calls the response by the city of Fort Worth a cover-up. Now, even though the city has called in the U.S. Attorney General's office to review the findings of their internal investigation, Gibson says he has lost all confidence in law enforcement. He used excessive force, and that's why I got hurt. After seven days in the hospital, Chad Gibson is not yet out of the woods. There is still a blood clot in his brain behind his right eye. You know, I'm scared that you know, something might happen and it, and it might start bleeding. On June 28th, Gibson was at the Rainbow Lounge when two TABC and seven Fort Worth police officers conducted a bar check at the newly opened gay nightclub in Fort Worth. Witnesses say officers manhandled Gibson and slammed him down unprovoked. Police say Gibson was intoxicated and grabbed an officer's groin. This is the I mean, first time Gibson has been able to defend himself. They have, you know, blamed it on me that I was drunk. I fell and hit my head. I groped the officer. I did this. I did that. You know what? No. That's, that's not, you know, accept responsibility. Quit. I mean, now they're trying to blame it on the TABC. It's all their fault. But Gibson blames the Fort Worth PD, too. Even if the Fort Worth police didn't touch me, they watched it. They watched the other people do that to me. Are you satisfied with the progress that you On Sunday night in Sundance Square, the Queer Liber Action Organization held a protest about the Rainbow Lounge raid. When they took that gun, released that young man from a neck hold, and he stumbled, they took him to the ground. I saw it with my own two eyes, and I was sober. It feels great. There's so many people out there and are, are doing that fight for me. Gibson is grateful for all of the support while he fights to regain his health. The TABC officers are on desk duty during their internal investigation, and the city of Fort Worth is still asking eyewitnesses to come forward to include their reports in their internal investigation. And again, those findings will be reviewed by the U.S. Attorney General's Office. Reporting live in the Fort Worth newsroom, Darla Miles, Channel 8.